what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about scream 6 in this video here today now this is being pre-recorded and i think that is apparent for anyone that has seen this video pending on my channel since january because i am indeed recording it in january now also by the time it's live many of you know that the videos i have on my channel that have live streams they're not actually me talking live i just set them to premiere at a certain time and the channel creates a live stream for the video until it's over so for context about the information i'm going to disclose in this video i've known about this since late winter i started to learn about this in the summer when they were filming and a lot of the other stuff that was being told to me after deciphering all of the trash that many of us thought was adding up because somebody named clips comprehend somehow had the information we had was all deemed to be false i was then told the true nature of scream 6 and i of course just never blatantly spoiled stuff in my videos i always managed to somehow just come up with ideas to talk about with you guys things that i knew weren't going to happen but also still just fun scenarios that could play out in the movie that many of you chimed in in the comment section saying you would love to see something like that happen so maybe something like that will happen in future movies if we get a scream 7 so i just made it a point after that clip stuff was all deemed trash uh, to make sure to just keep everything else I was told close to my chest, not share anything overly specific. And even after that Nev stuff was further proven as actually not being, as actually further being proven that she's really not in the movie, I just decided again to retain every other bit of info I had been told before and the other new stuff I was told starting around mid-November because the Nev thing was an easy bit to discuss without spoiling a lot of the movie. I put out that I was told that it nev would appear in the movie because that's what i was told by a trusted individual who is also the same person who's been telling me this stuff that will be true by the time you see the movie uh but since nev was proven to be false i said oh well that's fine true or false that's not the biggest thing from this movie the biggest stuff from this movie i'm about to reveal it in this video so with this video now being released that means i've actually probably already seen this movie and the embargo has lifted because of course i am not going to put this out before the movie drops or before it's even okay for for us to talk about spoilers officially if you don't want spoilers you shouldn't even be watching this video obviously so we're going to of course discuss what the thumbnail and the title says who is the killer in scream 6 the killer in scream 6 is richie kirsch's family his father brother and his sister you have three primary killers in this movie but in total there will be five killers so yes two are revealed at the start of the movie however we're not going to talk about them we're again going to talk about the primary three richie's family what is the motive for our primary three killers it's simply revenge for the death of richie at the front as the primary reason now there are layers that keep it fresh without seeming like a complete recycle of scream 2's motive because i know that will be the argument you hear from some people with sam facing these nasty rumors about her being the killer responsible for the events of five and amber and richie were somehow innocent and this trio of killers is actively working to prove a conspiracy theory as true so that sam can take the fall for this spree in new york and add more weight to the conspiracy that she did the events in five two that alone is something that's never been done by previous killers Go group of killers working to prove a conspiracy theory to be true there's another layer to the motive that goes without saying but first we need to discuss who are richie's family dermot is his father liana liberato who plays quinn is his sister and jack champion who plays ethan is his brother what is the significance of these characters well for one dermot is an officer who's been stealing evidence from the previous sprees since even before the events of five now he was stealing this stuff before richie even donned the mask he was doing this for richie because he was such a big fan of the the stab series now jack quaid will also make a cameo appearance via home video like randy did in scream 3 now the extra bit to the motive that goes without saying that i told you i was going to talk about anyway is the fact that dermont has a chance to pin all of this on sam so that he can keep his job as well if sam is effectively framed they get revenge for richie the public believes that sam is the one who did those sprees in five and not their brother slash son and dermont is potentially able to pin his previous crimes related to stealing evidence on the woman who killed his son so you get revenge across the board you as a as a high-ranking public official or higher ranking public servant get to keep your job as a public servant because who knows how long he's even been on the force <laughs> and that is what's going to play down or go down in scream six now some people might have a problem with this because they think it's a carbon copy of scream two motive wise it is not there are so many things that are layered differently about this that completely render it not a carbon copy mrs loomis simply just wanted revenge for her son and the death of her son with these three 
depending on all the other context that might be revealed in the movie, you have people trying to prove a conspiracy theory to be true. You've never seen that before. You have a cop who is literally trying to frame a new set of crimes he's committing, this time being murdered on an innocent victim so that he can keep his position as that public official or public servant. But at the forefront is just revenge for his son. But there's all these other different layers and secondary motives that I don't feel they're going to really address, which is a little lackluster, but it's not a carbon copy of Scream 2. Now, the last thing I want to do this video is bring up this comment that you left on a video I put out back in December. Uh, shout out to you, Big C Richie, if you're listening to this video. I told you I was going to bring this comment back up in March. Now, the reason I'm doing this now is because, again, I told you I was doing that. You left a comment on a video in which we were talking about Stu Mocker being dead and how Kevin Williamson made that comment. You said Kevin also said Kirby is dead. Now, I responded by saying I really doubt that because when it comes to Kirby, fans will riot. It will be upsetting to the fans. Can't really expect people to be fine with. And of course, it was just a long paragraph. That, that's why it has read more. You even chimed in at one point to say that that was too much and you were tired after reading it. And that's fine. I get that was a lot to read. I said I will be back in March and there's a reason for this. Here is the full complete thing of what I said to you. Now, if you want to go back and fact check this to see that I did not change anything and that that comment is still there and I did not just add this, each letter, each letter of every sentence, the first letter of each sentence spells out something that was a big clue that I dropped about what would be playing out in Scream 6 all the way back in December. Nobody caught on to it because I knew you would have to decode it and I knew no one was going to pick up on it. So if you take the first letter of every sentence, it spells out that Richie's family are Ghostface. Come back to this post in March. That is what it says. I gave the biggest clue I could think of in December to one of you who watched my videos, and I did it in a fashion in which I knew you would not be able to pick up on the fact that I just told you who the killers were. <laughs> now, the reason I'm doing this video now is because I want to see how much of this ends up being correct by the time the movie actually comes out and by the time I actually see it. Uh, again, this is being pre-recorded. It will be pending on my channel all the way from January to sometime in March when the embargo lists because I'm not going to put it out prior to that because I am not interested in spoiling this movie before the movie has actually landed in its release week and before we're actually even supposed to be talking about it as a lot of us that are seeing the movie early will again be under embargo. But once the embargo is lifted, we can talk about spoilers all we want to and that is why I put a spoiler warning in the video. So if you've been spoiled, it was your fault. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, you can go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I will have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.